If I had to explain Jana to a five-year-old, I would say it's sort of like an associate for an associate, an intern for an intern, right? It's both a very intelligent associate in the sense that it's read all the laws under the world and it has access to every piece of information that could be potentially relevant. But it's also very directed in the sense that it is a co-pilot always awaiting your instructions and trying to please you and deliver what you ask for. When we were first thinking about Jana, we saw this as a social problem. It's kind of a really classic information retrieval issue. You've got this giant system with a billion people where justice depends on very talented advocates being able to find the right piece of information in the right amount of time. And when that doesn't work, the whole system starts to break down. And we thought if there was some way to just make this information a bit more accessible and a bit more intelligible, it would be this kind of beautiful, low-hanging fruit way to make systems work better. I think it's a monumental moment in the Indian legal system where things are changing. And at Jhana, we think we're at yet another ground zero, back to the blackboard kind of moment where legal systems are going to change phenomenally. And we're very excited to be at a forefront of that moment. And we want to influence that towards alignment and beneficence. On the one hand, we're a data repository. We accumulate both firms' internal data, which you can upload ad hoc or integrate at scale with Jana, and we also come with all of our own data that comes from all kinds of public resources, from Supreme Court and High Court judgments to statutes and acts. There's so many of these documents, some of them no one has looked at. The 15 million documents comparing it to themselves and comparing it to another 10,000 acts and related documents. These combinations and comparisons and discussions between these documents have never happened before. There's simply too many of them. So uh, we're trying to use this uh, paralegal to generate novel information uh, through this way. You get a paralegal that functions kind of like a co-pilot assistant in your research process for a very flexible set of tasks. You get a search engine that gives you access to much more sophisticated search features that can really understand the meaning of your document. Whatever the prompt is, whatever the kind of output you wanted to produce, Jana is going to deploy this agent-like framework where it thinks, constructs an action, observes the information and citations it's able to pull from that action, reflects if it has to shift gears or keep continuing, and ultimately it keeps going in this cycle, this loop, till it's produced enough information that it's able to produce whatever open-ended deliverable you asked it for.